Ah, howdy, howdy, howdy. Hello and welcome to playoff season. We've got an exciting matchup here tonight. It's going to be Yorkville versus Niles West. Yorkville is actually able to get the 30th seed. Um, so that's really impressive for our guys, to say the least. Um, they, they were able to get third seed, so they're going to go against 30th seed here, Niles West. So we're looking forward to that. Let's take a look over here at the playoff bracket. So Team Leiden, the only team that Yorkville actually lost to this year, um, they actually ended up being first seed, and they are on the other side of the tournament here, which is great to see. So Yorkville's going to be going against Niles West here. Uh, we're going to get just about started up in the game. Let me get that loaded. Don't go anywhere. We're about to start off playoff season for Rocket League Varsity here in about two minutes. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All righty, we are logged in. We are getting ready to get started here. Um, it's going to be Niles West, which is a 30th seed, so we are expecting a definitely a solid victory here for Team Yorkville. They ended up being third seed overall uh, this season, which is just fantastic placement. Uh, the only two teams I saw that were higher up than us was Naperville North and Team Leiden. Uh, Naperville just squeaked us out a little bit. They won a little bit more of their rounds overall in the season, so that definitely helped them out. Um, and yeah, we're really excited to get started here. We got Midnight, we got Comfy, we got Dubs, the usual suspects here at Team Varsity for Yorkville. Uh, is getting ready to line up against Niles West here. Not sure where Niles West is at the moment. They should be logging in just momentarily. And we'll get started here in just a second once they hop on in. Again, let's see if we can take a look over onto the playoff bracket here. Take another quick peek at that. All right, let's take a look. So, all right, Yorkville's right down here against Niles West. Um, this is going to be match 13, you bet. So whoever wins this one, uh, looks like we're going to be playing against a 19th or 14th, 14th seed with uh, Naperville or Hinsdale Central here. So that could be interesting. Um, then after that, I mean, the rest of the run looks pretty good. The only thing down below us here on our part of the tournament that looks like it might be a little bit nasty, uh, Marion Catholic um, and U High number one, uh, sixth seed and 11th seed down here. So we should be able to go relatively far, hopefully all the way here to playoffs, maybe get take home the gold or maybe take home second place. Top three finish would just be great for my guys here. That would just be fantastic. We would absolutely be thrilled with getting that far along here. Not too bad for our third time going off at it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready to get started here. I know my guys are ready. I can hear them in the back. Uh, let's switch over back to our game and see what's going on. All right, looks like we are ready to play here. Off we go. Playoff season has officially started for Yorkville. Right off the bat here, Midnight looks to score pretty quick. You know the pressure's going to be on for Niles West here. They are the 30th seed. They just squeaked into these playoffs here. Had a couple of teams that could not make the land in uh, Schaumburg on Saturday. So, you know, we'll see what happens here. But I have every bit of faith that Team Yorkville's really going to dominate this game here. Well, hopefully it's a good match and both teams play well. Let's see what happens here. All right, looks like Niles West. We have Rhythm. Cthulhu, like Cthulhu? We'll just call him Cthulhu then. And Texas. Rhythm, Texas, and we'll just call him, we'll call him Kutta. Kutta, duh. All right, so we got Kutta, Texas, and Rhythm. All right, let's see it. Comfy tries to get something. Maybe Ariel drive it on into the net. Doesn't really happen, though. 
pressure has been all on Niles West here. This ball has been just stuck on their side. Midnight sends it back down. Cut it, tries to get it clear. Midnight denies it. This ball's almost in scoring position here. Comfy tries to line it up. Texas does interrupt him, though. Here comes a shot on goal. Oh, I thought for sure Dubs was going to get first blood there. That was so close. Again, pressure has been all Yorkville on Niles West here. Niles West really struggling to clear this ball. Let's see if Yorkville can finally get something going here. Comfy with a great demo. No way. Get in there. There it is. Nice job, Yorkville. They get first blood here. Get the first goal of the game. Texas just kind of stalling on the wall there. Wasn't fast enough getting that ball cleared out. Dubs and Midnight just able to just hammer that thing on home. Good job. Ooh, it seems like Cutta might be having some connection issues. That's not good. Hopefully he's able to figure that out sooner than later. Not sure if it's a two on three right now. Looks like it is. That's not good. Match has started. I haven't seen any ask for a timeout or anything. Hopefully Cut is able to get back into this game. Make a little bit more even here. Pompey kind of kind of toying with Texas there. No way he was gonna let him take that in. Almost goes wall to wall, goal to goal there. Takes it all the way downtown. Goes just a little wide at the post, though. Again, if you're just joining the stream, I'm Coach. We're watching a okay match here. Niles West, I'm not sure what's going on with them. They had a player join and lost connection. They are the 30th ranked team in the playoffs here. So was expecting a, not exactly an easy win for Team Yorkville, but definitely a dominant performance, to say the least. So, yeah, we got a we got a. Reading with that demo makes it a 3v1 for a second. We go midnight. Boys just kind of not exactly putting the pressure on full. I mean, it is, you know, 3v2. Not sure what happened to Kutta. Or if they have a sub. You always want to see a playoff match be a, you know, great game. Two teams going close to close. Um, was such a high seed that we did have. Um, it was never going to be kind of like an exciting matchup like we had last week against uh, Limestone, which was just around Tuesday, I should say. Limestone was just a terrific opponent, really exciting stuff. Uh, I, I hate to see this happen in Niles West, but, I mean, this is why we have subs. We have be prepared for everything and yada, yada. I hope that everything's okay with Cutta and Team Morale's doing all right over there for Niles West. But this is going to be a slaughter here pretty quick. I mean, just with two, it's just not going to work. I mean, one demo makes it a 1v3. 4-0 with 145 to go here. Let's go, boys. Yorkville Fox is really taking it to Niles West here. Niles West, unfortunately, like I've said many times, did lose a player. Uh, Kutta, I think his name was. Kind of looked like Cthulhu for a little bit. Um, he unfortunately DC'd. Uh, not seeing any requests for a pause or anything like that, which would be awesome to see. Midnight, the boys really just kind of dominating this game right now. It is a 3v2, so not exactly like the pressure is super on. Doing some aerials, maybe a little practice here for the guys. Comfy tries to score it in, just can't find it though. As we approach a minute to go, here's going to be first win three rounds. Still is a normal game. Nice job, Midnight. That was actually pretty clean. Let's take a look at this. Gets it taken away. Look at this great read. Dubs passes it right to him. What an assist. Great job, guys. That looked really nice. Minute to go. 5-0. Still no sign of the third player for Team Niles West. Approach the one-minute mark. Dubs just put this thing out. Well, it looks like we're on our way to Schaumburg on Saturday. 
just winding down the clock here. No need to have bad manners and make it a blowout, 14-0, nothing like that. Then you guys are just trying to have some good kind of sportsmanship here. Always sucks when you have kind of issues like this, DCs. There you go, we make it 6-0. Nice job, nice rotation of the car there. Able to get a good angle on that shot. Make sure that was able to go left. Good job, Fox is looking really, really sharp out here. We kind of dressed up in our Sunday best. We're ready to, ready to go. Fortunately, Niles West did have some connection issues. Here he is, cut his back in the match. Excellent, love to see it. This King's at 48, which isn't too bad. I'm not sure why it's given a big red warning for it. Glad to see that he is back in here. It can kind of be a little bit more of an even game. And this ball's gonna fall. Just let it drop. There it is, game one winner's gonna be Yorkville. Awesome, solid performance by Team Yorkville there. Love to see it. Cut is definitely having some connection issues here. You can see his ping jump around from 52, 104, 52, 48. Hopefully, he can get that kind of settled in here before we start our next match. I'm going to ready up so I don't hold up any process here, but yeah. Not looking good for Niles West here. Yorkville just definitely kind of in that next skill level and then some. So. Hopefully, Niles West can get their get their connection issues figured out here. We can have a little bit more of an even match or something that's a little bit more fair. No one wants to see a 3v2. Dubs wins that face off so clean. Takes it right up the wall. Tries to make something happen. Texas is there. Tutta does figure out his connection. There we go, and I think for the first time in this game, ball gets cleared down to Yorkville side. Midnight dribbles it out. He's gonna start applying a pressure here, maybe try to get something into scoring position. Takes his time, here comes Confi. Just like that. Nice job, boys, nice job, Yorkville. Midnight just slow playing and waiting for Confi to get there with his boost, everything. Love to see it. Great job, good communication by Team Yorkville here. Another face off, Dubs loses it to Rhythm. Midnight gets that pretty much full cleared. Texas can't stop that score. Midnight off the wall here from downtown, from his own side and then some. This ball went the distance. Texas just gets kind of a bad read on it. Can't stop it and that ball goes all the way in. All right, here we go. First 30 seconds, and we got two goals going. All right, Comfy with a shot on goal. Cut of blocks, though. Pressure's just so continuous for Niles West here. Niles West does have all three of their players. Oh, I think Comfy was looking for dubs there. Midnight's gonna take it up. Try something, gonna get this ball right around. There it is. Off the ceiling, get out of here. Look at this. Poetry in motion. Nice. What a shot. Cut it, can't get there in time. Let's go Yorkville, 3-0. Right, face-off happens, does end up on Yorkville side. Boys were able to drive this right on in. And there it goes, Comfy scores again. I think the boys are really starting to kind of put the pressure on. They do have three players here, so they're, they're, they're gonna try their best, which is, I mean, that is good sportsmanship. No one likes when someone goes easy on them. Here we go, Yorkville absolutely dominating this game right now, 4-0, and we haven't seen a minute and 30 into this game. This could really be a blowout here if Niles West is not careful. Wow, that was so close to going in and being 5-0. Midnight's here with a great read. Just kind of driving circles around Niles West here. Midnight, no way. Tecompi, let's go. 
Hey, I mean, it's, if this is our ticket to Schaumburg, I'll take it. I'll take it. What control? Good gravy. I mean, really, just great aerial dribble there. Nuts. All righty. Here we go. Yorkville up 5-0. Two minutes have elapsed here. Uh, just about in seven seconds. Again, if you're just tuning in the stream, Yorkville's crushing it right now. They just absolutely are. Going against Niles West here, these guys look like they're in a different league. And I mean, that's kind of the case. It's a uh, third seed versus 30. So, kind of knew that something like this was going to probably be the case. Just dominating performance here. Really strong, looking sharp way, to, sharp way to go, Foxes. No face off happens. Ball is going to get a little pressure on Yorkville goal here from Niles West. Cut out with a decent shot attempt. Midnight's there, top of the way up top of the net. He's going to drive this all the way out to around midfield where Comfy's going to have to take over. Midnight's going to rotate out for some boost. Dubs coming in here, fighting for it. This looks like it might go in. Yep, no one was there for Niles West with the rotation. Comfy from way downtown here. Wow. Not sure, just rotation wasn't there. Makes it a 7-0 game. All right, at the halfway mark, we're, we're 7-0. This looks like it might be a 14-0 game. Cutta trying his best out here. Definitely a respectable opponent there. He was a season eight grand champion. That is a little while ago, though. Oh, Comfy trying to set up something fancy in front of goal here. Texas interrupts him, though. Dubs does not get back down in. Tries to get it back into play. Here comes Comfy. Great rotations by Yorkville here. Excellent communication. These guys are pretty sharp here. Dubs knocks it out. Again, if you're just tuning in, I'm Coach. We're in the beautiful Atkins Esports Arena here watching Yorkville just slaughter Niles West here, making it 8-0. Still 94 seconds to go. Uh, great job, Boxes. They did win the first round. Uh, it seemed like they were having some connection issues here. You could see right there for a second for Cutta, their best player, uh, was having some ping issues with his internet. Looks like they did get it all figured out. Um, tail of the tape here, it's... It's a lot. They've had one shot on goal so far, and that's from their GC. Uh, the rest is all York. Midnight. Oh, Texas with a great save there. That's a good read. So much pressure, though. I thought Comfy was going to for sure get that in. Really fighting for it. These guys got to watch their boost usage and rotation for Niles West. They're really committing here. I mean, just putting three cars in net just about. One minute to go in round two here. Wow, excellent control by Comfy here. Great read. Cutta does come up and interrupt him. Midnight's going to pretty much full clear this on his own. Perhaps the boost from him, too. That goes in and make a 9 -0. Dub that YVHS on it. Yorkville Varsity High School. Love to see it. Good job, boys. Oh, wow. Almost brought up the face off. Cutta was there to stop it. 30 seconds remaining. Let's see if the Foxes can make this a double digit score. Comfy. There's a pull clear against two Niles West defenders. Nice shot. Midnight. A nice ball control here. Gonna take it up the wall and in. Wow, wow. That was something, look at this. Oh, 
mind blown. What control? Where's my mind blown? Oh, lordy. All righty, face-off happens. Dobbs just cleanly takes that right into Niles West. Dobbs is going to see if he can pull a midnight here. Ah, gets interrupted by Texas. One, this ball's going to fall. No! Woo! That was close. The Yorkville goes 2-0 in game two. One more round to go. Looks like this might be a surefire thing. Wow. Midnight with a score of 1080, breaking 1,000. That's definitely a good day for him. Wowzers. All right, and let me join Team Spectate here, and we'll get started with hopefully our third and final round of the first round of playoffs. Um, we should be going to Schaumburg on Saturday here. Uh, the top 60 right now is the top 32 are in playoffs. Uh, the top 16, those that essentially win their matches tonight, will head on in person to the land playoffs. So looking forward to that. Um, I already got the bus requested. We're all set for minibus number two. So looking forward to spending a Saturday out in Schaumburg. Uh, obviously, it won't be in the Atkins Esports Arena. won't be able to stream it. However, you can catch all the playoff action on the IHSEA Twitch page. They'll be hosting everything, showing all playoff matches. Not all of them playing at once, obviously, but they'll be highlighting some key ones. And as we get closer down to, like, Final Four, they'll be showing all the really important matches here. Niles West about to survive a whole minute against these Foxes without a score going down. Got to give it to them. Playing, definitely not rolling over here. Great sportsmanship. Love to see it. Cuckoo. <laughs> Cutta just going full demo on us here. Love it. Niles West not going down without a fight. Got to hand it to him. Love that moxie. Love that spirit. Yorkville looking to clear this thing all of a sudden. Niles West coming alive. You can feel that intensity, the energy here. Love to see it. Comfy. Oh, to cut us. It's going to be Dubs with the rotation. He was ready to play defense. Trying to get a full clear here. Looks like Rhythm's going to stop it. Midnight trying to do a little juking and jive and dribbling on the ground there. Cutter reads it, though. He's able to interrupt him and clears the ball out to Team Yorkville Fox's side. If you're just joining us, Yorkville has been dominating this game so far. Comfy's there with the great save and read. There it is. Oh, no. Niles West takes the lead with their first goal of the match. Really not too nervous about it. Are the higher seed and these guys just taking a little bit easy. I'm sure they'll get their serious cap on here. Faceoff happens, ends up on Yorkville side. Cutta is able to continue the pressure now for Team Yorkville. Midnight's gonna try to clear it out. It's gonna get right around midfield where Rhythm for Niles West is gonna grab it. And they're gonna try to juggle it into the net. Here comes Dubs trying to get a clear on it. Not sure if Niles, this is part of Niles West strategy was to just pretend to not be as good as they are. Because they're definitely playing at a different level all of a sudden. Uh, Dubs tries to go for the double tap in on his own here. Comfy's going to try to interrupt Cutto. He's desperately trying to get a clear here. Pressure's absolutely starting to mount for Niles West. I anticipate a Yorkville goal here quite soon. Texas tries to get a touch on it for Niles West. Can't happen, though. Comfy's going to try to knock it in. Cutto with a really solid block there. Good job, boys, getting that right out of scoring position. Comfy's going to be able to get just about a full clear here. Texas is there at the rotation. Dubs wasn't there to get into a scoring position. Dubs with a great little shot on goal. Rhythm was there to block it for Niles West. And we're under two minutes here. Midnight with a really good shot. Cutter was playing back, though. Dubs is going to send it down. It's going to go over the head of Texas. Rhythm for Niles West is going to get a shot on it. One demo for him. Texas with a really good aerial there. It's going to interrupt the Yorkville play. Dubs. To Comfy. Comfy messing around with it here. 
ends up in the hands of Rhythm. Tomfi with a great shot from downtown. Cutta was reading it. Good read by Cutta for Niles West. Ball's going to end up right around midfield here. Ooh, big whiff. Texas was there. York will really start to apply the pressure here. Hopefully they can score or else this round will go to Niles West and they will keep their playoff dreams alive. One minute to go, cut off from downtown here, not too shabby. Texas with a great shot, or a great aerial touch of Cache. Cache. Oh no! Oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this replay here. I'm not sure this was going to go in until Cutta touched it. Hits it. The ceiling. Yep, that was definitely not going to go in. Cutta just about scores on his own team there. Yikes. And it's 1-1. And Niles West has got to be feeling the pressure now. Dub's doing a good job keeping the pressure here for Niles West. Compy's going to come in. We're going to look to score here in the next 30 seconds to avoid an overtime. You got to be careful they don't overcommit. And they do have a rotation for defense. There's Dub for it. Good job, boys. Midnight and Comp, you're going to play back here, grabbing boost. Comp, he does a great job clearing this. Midnight with a good demo on Texas. Texas is going to come back in, though. Not sure if the boys are going to be able to score here. Oh, maybe we'll see. That ball's still alive. Overtime for round three. Niles West needs to score first to keep their playoff dreams alive. If Yorkville scores first, we're going to Schomburg for the Sweet 16. Woo! You know, you know they're sweating over there in Niles West. Rare miss from Midnight there. He looked to interrupt a clear. Comfy. Oh, this could do it right here to Midnight. Texas interrupts him, though. Good stop by Niles West. Pressure's going to continue, though, as Yorkville's going to keep this ball in. Dub scores. That's the game. You know what? I, I will say this for Niles West. I have never seen a team get so clutch so quickly and just turn up the heat and really start to play their hearts out. So, hey, good job, Niles West. Great job, Yorkville. These guys are going to be all going to the Sweet 16 playoffs all the way in Schaumburg. We're looking forward to on Saturday. Um, Check-in starts. I think there's going to be a couple different groups. Uh, check in with the IHSEA Twitch stream to check all those matches in action. Um, wow, just great job. Great job. Love to see it. So, yeah. So, Yorkville wins their wins their playoff match. They're going to be going to Schaumburg for the Sweet 16 playoffs. Woohoo! Um, already got the bus requested. We're definitely going. So, we look forward to watching, seeing you guys there as well. Um, Hey, for everyone here in the Atkins Esports Arena, thank you so much for joining the stream, supporting this team throughout this excellent season. Foxes went 6-1 and one overall. They won their first playoff match. They made it to the top 32, got the third seed in the state out of so many teams. Um, and, yeah, and now they're in the Sweet 16. Love to see it. So, again, I'm Coach. Adios, sayonara, and we'll see you Saturday.